Well, female sexual dysfunction has been uh, woefully underserved in the biopharma community um, and in society as a whole. Um, I was just discussing last night actually um, what I call an androgenic model of sexuality in in our culture and in human culture for, for centuries, which is that male sexual pleasure is sort of the ultimate goal of sexual interaction between men and women, and that female sexual pleasure has not really been prioritized. Uh, this is reflected in the biopharmaceutical uh, industry, if you look at Viagra and its overwhelming success and its numerous, numerous um, other drugs uh, for male erection that have been uh, marketed successfully, there is only one FDA approved medication that relates to or is whose purpose is to enhance the female sexual experience and um, it's also about money. Um, when you have tried and true money makers that uh, work to enhance uh, the male sexual response, it's cheaper for a pharmaceutical company to build another one like that than it is to sort of start from scratch and um, address female sexual dysfunction. It's also, frankly, just more poorly understood by um, clinicians as a whole, by um, the lay public, uh, as we said before, it's not talked about. So those are some of the problems. The standard of care is really uh, a multimodal approach, a team approach. Um, behavioral therapy, the, you know, many uh, therapists will address this, but there is a subset of um, uh, therapists, psychologists, social workers who are certified uh, it, it's, they're certified by AASECT, ASECT, and uh, clinicians and lay public can go on the ASECT website and find therapists who are certified in sex education and counseling, uh, which is um, really beneficial because a busy clinician just doesn't always have time or expertise to sit and discuss sexual dysfunction. So an ASECT certified counselor is an excellent person to help a clinician address sexual dysfunction. Certainly if a clinician's comfortable uh, taking a sexual history and addressing and treating uh, sexual dysfunction, they should, but many are not. It's uh, a very um, poorly covered part of most medical training. So most clinicians, even if they have the time, uh, lack the expertise or the comfort. So uh, a sexual counselor, a clinician to address for clinical a clinically treatable issues like vaginal dryness, um, and then sometimes a pelvic floor physical therapist. This is a, a again, a physical therapist who has specialized training in treating the, the female pelvic floor uh, because some sexual dysfunction relates to problems with the pelvic fo floor muscles and nerves.